Welcome back. It's been a while, but that's a good thing. That means that everybody is flying safe. Today, we're going to be going over this sport cruiser that went down in North Carolina. And then also this aircraft that went down a bunch of parachute jumpers in Australia. So let's start off with Australia. We're in Victoria. You can see this Cessna is down real close to the water. It was a Cessna 208 Caravan built in 1986. Victor Hotel uniform. Mike Victor was the tail number. This is how it ended up. You can see some damage to the front end, but it looks like they came in nice and easy here. Kept the wings level and everybody survived. There was two injuries, but they were minor. There's a flight aware short trip. They got to about 600 feet in elevation before having engine trouble and coming down at this uh, bar one airport. Barwon Heads Airport in Victoria, and then they came down near this Lake Conaware Wildlife Reserve. And I'm kind of glad they didn't go in the water. I mean, it could have been a drowning issue. You have 17 people in that caravan, and not everybody can really get out quickly in some situations, especially if there were injuries. So glad they stayed on land there, um, but still a lot of people to deal with, 17. So firefighters, paramedics, everybody's on scene to try to sort this out. So how do you sort all this chaos when you have all different people? You only have limited resources. You know, the ambulance can't take 17 people. So you have to triage and take only the people that are in the worst shape. So let's figure out how you do that. So this salt triage, first thing you want to subscribe to the channel. And second, we want to figure out how to get these people to the hospital. So first one is, can anybody walk to me? You're going to ask that. Can anybody walk to me? So all the people that can walk to you and listen, you're going to put them on the side. You're dealing with them last. They're in good shape. Then you're going to say, can anybody else wave to me? And all the people that can wave to you, you're going to deal with them second. The people you want to go to first are the ones that aren't waving. They aren't listening. They aren't responding to your demands so we're going to go to them first they're in bad shape so are they breathing if they're not sadly they're gone we're going to move on there's a lot of people we need to deal with so secondly you can see if they are breathing so if they can if yes to all they can obey commands they can make purposeful movements they have a pulse per peripheral pulse kind of by your hand and um and their feet and they're not in respiratory distress, you know, they're breathing okay, and they're not having any major bleeds, you got all that stuff is good, then they're minor, you can either put them with the greens, or they're delayed, you can have them sit kind of with the people that could wave, and if they have any nose to any of this, maybe they are having trouble breathing, or they do have some major um, bleeding that needs to be taken care of, but they are likely to survive, then immediate, so the immediate people are the ones that we're going to put into these ambulances first. And expect it just means that they they may make it, but they they're in kind of bad shape. They're kind of going downhill um, towards the black, so they would be kind of left there and 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 start with the reds first, the people that have a better chance of survival. Um, and that's kind of how good how you do it. And then step three is treat treatment and transport. So I hope that makes sense. But that's a quick way to you know you can imagine if we had um, a seven thirty seven or you know a major commercial airlines like you're dealing with two hundred people. You have to do this quickly. Everybody has to go ahead and try to sort and get the full count from um, the flight manifest, and then also try to make sure that you know where everybody goes. You know people are going to be flown out driven out go to different hospitals you want to make sure you know where everybody goes so you're not missing anybody if that makes sense okay so moving on october 15th 2023 we were in north carolina and this aircraft came in hit hit some trees you can see the wing damage here i like this kind of clamshell it's easy for firefighters to make access to this sole pilot it was near cape fear regional airport and ended up here next to a church so here let's try to look at there's the cape fear airport and then came in here beach road baptist church is here and then here's kind of the entryway you can see there's a little kind of roundabout area so i believe it was kind of right over here you can see all the trees in the background um which is kind of here is that turnaround there's the aircraft there's that baptist church there in the distance um, but again, this one, the pilot did okay. I mean, spun around a little bit, but if you're going to end up anywhere, um, good to go for a church. And this uh, pilot had, had no injuries. So yeah, all in all, it was a 
good couple of days. Again, the Victoria one happened October 19th, 8 a.m. And then that North Carolina one happened October 15th, that uh, sport cruiser. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Arfaram Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.